Hey everybody, I am on the way to try to, to actually work on a holiday. <laughs> I have worked on a holiday, I, I must have, I don't know for certain, but maybe I have in this almost a year now. Maybe. <laughs> so, but this one, this is Father's Day, and I figure I'll go out and uh, just give it a try. I've, I've said that it's uh, our market's pretty saturated. I am certain of that. With, uh, you know, people, everybody who can work, is allowed to work, it's legal to work, has a right to the job. So, uh, and it's the student and teachers and, you know, those old enough, you have to be, eight, I think, 18 or older to work all these apps, food delivery or grocery delivery, I think. I, I don't know all of them. So, uh, so there's a lot of people out working, and I've said this pretty much, you know, every, like, season, like Thanksgiving or interims between, you know, semesters, you know, whatever, <laughs> so, whatever education, educational institution, oh my, anyway, I'm just kind of rambling already, but I felt good, I wanted to get out and, uh, just see if it makes any difference, we, this morning was the first time I've ever seen nine o'clock be like if on one of them I used to see if it's going to be busy or not in this area and in this county and uh, it said real high and I'm like wow I've never seen a morning that said that at all okay but I just want to see and as I was leaving, I was reminded that one of the neighbors, not not too close to our house, but I could still hear what was going on, um, had a party last night. Today's June 16th, 2022, 2024. Why am I saying 2022? <laughs> but anyway, um, had a party. Maybe that's why. And it, I mean, I heard it like right outside the door. But they were yelling, and uh, I guess they they were having a holiday. I mean, not a wow. What is going on with me? I can't drink caffeine. That's why. But they were having some kind of party, and I guess they were outside the back of their their house, and they were cheering something. Was there some game on or something or uh, whatever? But they were cheering really loud. I'm thinking, oh, those four people that live around there. <laughs> it was probably, I don't know, 10. That was just not very late. I think that, that any city, I don't know what it is here, but um, any town or city that had noise ordinances, I think they were 10 o'clock um, at night. No, 10, I think 10 to 10, I've seen. I don't know. I could be lying. But, I mean, I, I feel for the people around because the neighborhood is mainly people who were at one time the yuppies and the muppies, and some may still be classified as that. Um, they're mainly, you know, mainly. So, the ones I've seen in, on that part, in that area. Okay. Don't know why I'm starting here. I guess I could start somewhere else. But, um. It was it was loud, and they had all the you know there's so many people parked on the road, and I can tell you a lot of people they they just don't respect that other people live behind you know back behind where this was, and that the other people need to get out, and this is the one that had drives a bubba truck with those long extended um, side view mirrors you know the ones and seldom ever remembers to pull them in. And so people can actually get down the road and then they'll park right next to somebody with like a big SUV. <laughs> and there's barely room in between. You know, I, I didn't know that that end of the road was uh, a parking lot. I really didn't. <laughs> and I feel sorry for the people who live around them. I really do. Because when somebody's and their friends are that self-centered, wow. I remember one, there used to be a house over there that, uh, at the, uh, you know, at, at the actual end, I think, like, two down, that, um, this wasn't too long ago, 
they apparently rented that house to um, give parties. <laughs> Maybe this person did too. I don't know. But um, yeah, I think the HOA, maybe, I don't know. Somebody's getting them out of there. People are moving that were causing problems, I guess. I really don't know. But I could be lying. And anyway, I'm going to start my work. It's 1025. Let me see what happens. Okay, I thought I was going to stop and try to start at the, this place over here. I saw that it was a hot spot this morning, but, um, but that was at 9. It's 1038 right now. And I said, no, the first one offer I got was another one of those $4 ones. No thanks. I'm going to go to a busy area. But it was a $4 one to Scaryville. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it. Dangerousville? I don't know. It's, uh, what was it called? Bubba Land? <laughs> it's a scary place. The roads are scary. The roads are very frightening. And you can find some Bubba's who are in their big Bubba trucks. And they don't care. They own the road. It's a one road. It's very dangerous. You move off the road. Uh-uh. That's not happening. No. It's just not happening. I'm not dealing with that kind of thing. It's, like I said, today's Father's Day. Who knows? I have never worked Father's Day. So, <laughs> like I said, hardly any holidays. But that that's not how I want to start off. You know, today I think that these, that the... The young people will probably home, be at home with their, or at their father's, you know, for Father's Day. It's just a thought. <laughs> I could be very wrong. Yeah. So we'll see, though, if I actually get to somewhere I can do. Because, you know, this place down here is where I see a lot of those fleet people. And that I am very convinced of. Yeah. But, uh. I mean, I can understand that somebody, I just don't know the benefit of the person who's running it. I mean, would they get a couple, a dollar each, the delivery, whatever? And how does it benefit them? And then do they have to do all the taxes and everything? I don't know. It's, it's curious. I like a mystery, a good mystery. Yeah. It's at least something that keeps me doing this. Yesterday, I had actually decided I was going to take off a month from doing these, and uh, I kind of decided, you know, let me see if I can do something on YouTube. I've had my original channel um, for August will be 10 years, so hey. <laughs> I mean, I haven't, I just haven't, I haven't ever applied. You know, I always said that, you know, I don't have any plans on monetizing my channels. I have more than one. I have several. And uh, I've been telling in a video that some of my um, some of my channels the, the topic is I don't speak. For one, hey, shut up. <laughs> nope, you shut up. You know, were you raised not to ever tell anybody to shut up? I wasn't. It's very seldom I use that. I think it was um not to say shut up and I think call somebody dumb or stupid or whatever. And those kind of things can stick to you. They teach kids these days the same. Anyway, so. Actually. Okay, just thought you might like, like the scenery. <laughs> this is where we were that time that uh, a, a storm shifted unexpectedly. And we were stuck in the middle of the, this, this over here and doing a delivery and the sky just fell and the lightning all, all around us, all around it. It was so beautiful. It was really so beautiful. Uh, just because we're right in the middle of that and just be, to be able to see, oh man, all different colors. It was just beautiful say anymore. I mean, when did we, when did before I started doing these, did we ever have a chance to go out at night? Or ever have, a, not a chance, a reason. We had plenty of chances. We just didn't. <laughs> what were we going to go out for? And, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, within reason, we weren't going to be out on a day that it was rainy anyway. But I just delivered one, and it was only one, 
you know, and I've said this before about people who say the, you know, it's the customer's fault that they don't get what they want, you know, stomping their feet and complaining that it's always the customer's fault. You know, come on, seriously. Now, I just looked and saw that the, I was going 45 and looked and it said 40. But all the people who passed me, <laughs> I mean, I'm admitting it. Oh my goodness. Is this, these roads, I mean, it's, it is what it is. I haven't seen one until then. But uh, everybody's gonna pass you. <laughs> yeah. Slow down a little more. But uh, anyway, you know, it, it, I got that offer. I got that order. It was four dollars. I thought it was for like, um, it was where, from where I was, about the same, four dollars, four, four miles. It wasn't. It was six. It took me, it was a mile, a little over a mile to get to the restaurant. And um, I just checked it, and it, and it basically, there was, no, not basically, it was, there was no tip. And it was a big order. And But I'm still not blaming the customer, you know, for not tipping because they don't owe us anything. And then, then there is this delivery fee. What would you think a delivery fee is? That's what the delivery person gets. That's what I would think. That's what I did think back when I was ordering before. I mean, years ago, I just started doing this delivery in July. This is June 16th, so it's not even been a year. And I've had so many things delivered, during, especially during, well, even before 2020. But especially dur during, because I was one of those had to stay at home because I have a, a rare health condition. And anyway, I mean, it was, I never, you know, I tipped, I just did. I was thankful, you know, uh, that somebody was doing it. But some people, they see, why am I paying all these fees? And I said that back then on video. Why, you know, some people would see it. Why am I paying delivery this? And then they're asking for a tip on top of it. I'm paying higher prices, so and so and on and on. I mean, if you weren't delivering and if you weren't, you know, one that relies on the tips, what would you think? And be, I'm losing my voice these days <clears throat> really bad, but what would you think? Would you, you, if you, if you hadn't experienced it on the other side of the fence, what would you, wait, okay, stop driving for me, Cherry, stop driving for me. <laughs> I could turn that off, but actually I want it there. Um, anyway. Okay, anyway, Cherry is my SUV in case you People wondering how is somebody driving for you? <laughs> no, this Terry, my SUV. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Maybe I'm gonna find another place because those four dollars, no tip, it had no tip. But like I said, I don't blame them. But still, is I can understand. I as a, on the other side of this fence, I can understand. But you know, it does pop up. Some of them, I don't know all of them. I only know, only uh, tried through three. One of my light. <laughs> it a lot, it doesn't it? This was years ago. But, uh, but you know, it does, from what I understand, there does come up something that says tip me tip. You know, I always left 20%. So it wasn't that I was a cheap tipper. Some people go, oh, and they want the whole 50%. I'm doing this. And you can just get out there and go get your own stuff. Well, you're really putting out a good, 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 good uh, vibe for, you know, good attitude for people who are watching and they're the customers. That's what these people do. Now, I could put out a bad one again. <laughs> About these people. Yeah. I mean, about these these people. Anytime somebody says, often, not anytime, not every time, but quite often when they say, these people, yeah, there's something going on there more than you think. But anyway, um, not always, like I said. But people who put out there, you know, that it's all the customer's fault, really, stop it. That's my view. That's my opinion. 
I mean, I could see, you know, as a customer watching it back then and watching and listening to, you know, these people <laughs> do that. Well, you get the difference, right? You can understand. Well, maybe not. But, uh, you know, who were doing this is, is like, who are you? What really makes you think that you can talk bad about them that they didn't leave you enough money? You know, you're determining how much you should make. Then why are you taking the, those that aren't? And you do know how much it's going to be, correct? How much you're going to make. I don't want to have to say that again. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's Father's Day. I'm out. I only had that one, and I'm going back here. Yeah, what am I doing? Really, but I took that one. It was $4, but what I see, and what I can understand, is when you look at it, and you think, they didn't tip. You know, it's caught, it's, uh. Okay, there was somebody booming some music, man. Like, it was making my eardrums <laughs> vibrate. And I couldn't figure out who it was, really. And, uh, you know, just the boom, boom one. I've been on YouTube making videos on my original channel. All this will be 10 years. It's different. It's not this kind of thing. But uh, I, I believe one time they got, uh, had a, whatever it's called, uh, because of some music booming. Seriously, in somebody's car. Because of the beat or something. I don't know. The bass, that's all I hear. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not into that. What was I talking about? I don't know. I'm not going back to it. I don't think. You never know. But I am going to this area and see what I get over here. I'm really out because I really just like getting out. Last yesterday, not last night, but yesterday. Uh, well, I'll say last night. Um, I really realized how much I just enjoy driving. And hey, this gives me something to do. I enjoy seeing. You know, all these other areas, you know, that I've never seen, had never had any reason to go to. And I've lived here over 20 years. Well, um, for the most part, these past 20 years. And uh, I had been elsewhere for a while, taking care of my mother and all that kind of thing. You know. But anyway. Um, okay, I'm Okay, I'm sitting here. I'm just kind of wasting time. <laughs> but I got my... It's lunchtime. It's 12.28. And I called Adam to tell him about a grooming... A bus groom that go to your home. It was kind of cute. But he said he had just been here 10 minutes before me. And he was said... Before I could say the name of it, he said it. But anyway. And then I just got an offer. It was for another $4 one. This one was going to a hotel... I don't do, I generally don't do hotels either. Yeah, well, it depends on where the hotel is located. And I know, don't, you don't need to tell me that's wrong for me to do it. But hey, I know the area. <laughs> so, but no, uh, uh just because it's a bad hotel, or I don't even know if this one was. I just don't like to do ones near the highway. And uh, it's just my preference. I don't, I don't do apartments either. Because, you know, I have this problem with my knees both of my knees and anyway but you know I'm, I want to make myself clear on this about this four dollar you know these really cheap ones okay you know the ones that sometimes there's I don't I don't take two dollar ones but three and four dollars you know even five dollars could be maybe even more than that could be the ones that these are people who reported these are you know there's a variety of people that could be but some of them I have noticed um, that it'll say somewhere in there that this customer has reported uh, items missing or something like that. Uh-uh. You don't know that until after you go get it. <laughs> you go to pick it up or you accepted it and I'm not going to ruin my cancellation rate. All that. But when it does, I'm like, oh man, that's what happened to me. That one contract violation I got on. I never used that service after that. But never. I said I wouldn't and I didn't. But other things like this, anyway, that's what it said on that one that, that these teenagers had done it before. Okay, I'm, I'm certain it was the teenagers. It was all the weirdness around it. But, uh, 
anyway, <clears throat> these, these, okay, when I say this about, you know, people who complain about the customers, yes, you take these small offers, sometimes you don't know, and I'm making myself clear on that. Sometimes you don't know that it's something like that, but a $4 one, you can kind of guess. <laughs> and I think those ones that, you know, that the, the, uh, the person, the customer isn't wanting to pay any tip, I don't think that it's the, uh, I'm guessing, of course, it's always going to be speculation, fiction, as I call it, because we're never going to be told, but, um, I, I think it's probably people who've say that, have claimed before that, or right that same day that they, uh, you know, their order wasn't delivered, they didn't receive it, so, you know, what I, I really think is that these companies need to put out commercials, you know, public, what are they called, the, uh, PSAs, that, that stealing foods, claiming that you didn't receive it, is a theft. Okay, whose is it? It's ours, isn't it? Aren't they, aren't they putting it off on us, the drivers? That one that I never use again, when I went to do my taxes, I noticed that it was gone. <laughs> well, I guess it was because I, I mentioned that uh, I fought it, and then I finally mentioned to the last one, that supposed manager, uh, who called me about it, that I guess everything that she's telling me, it means I have to call the police and report it to the police. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Shouldn't it be reported to the police anyway? Hmm. Hmm. Really? Think about it. Shouldn't it? It's a theft. Yeah. <laughs>